Captain Sandy? <laughs> yes. I agree. Dr. Evil has something that uh, that he would needlessly create just for SNGs. And he's also played by uh, Austin Powers, the same actor, which is kind of funny. Mike, Mike Myers, he's one of my favorite comedians and uh, actors, and he's just absolutely wonderful in everything he does. So, yeah, I vote Dr. Evil. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of agree. Normally, Dr. Evil would probably fail somehow. But this is the man, and like, I don't see Doctor Evil ever getting stabbed with a sword. No. Like there'd be there'd be too many uh, there'd be too many helpless uh, minions to get in the way. He he just throws somebody in the way and be like, here, you take the stab, and then he gets away, and then he plots his revenge, and then eventually he gets the Mad Hatter. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Also, we should uh, have like a, the Mad Hatter from the games too <laughs> come back. Maybe eventually. But yeah, Dr. But, Evil, no, Belgium for the win. Belgium! Because I'm happy. Alrighty. And that's the end of round one. I don't think there's been any surprises in that one. Most of them are pretty straightforward. Yeah, gotta love it. And now we move on to round two. Round two. Fun. Who will win? Actually, do we have any favorites? Jean Jean Pierre. Uh, all right, comments got hit. Pumpkin, Mumra. Oh, uh, God, it's hard. I'm not gonna name a favorite because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> all righties. First thing, right off the bat, we have the Pale Man returning. Mm-hmm. Nasty, freaking child-eating, fairy, decapitating thing. <laughs> versus Dr. Evil fresh off his win from the Mad Hatter. Ooh. Silly wabbit. Tricks up uh, uh, Comment first. Let's see. Dr. Evil is smart enough to stay away from the child eating monstrosity, so let's see. He'll probably invent a, like, he'll probably create a robot like looks like a kid and uh, put, like, hordes of explosives in it and, like, sitting, <laughs> here you go, kids. Uh, now walk carefully. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Boom. And that's just the way nice. I personally, you know. Pumpkin? Well, that's what I was going to say, but he would say, I'll hold your ransom for $10 billion, or something like that. That he kills, he kills the Pale Man. He probably just shoots him with a sidearm or something. I kind of like the robot idea. Pale okay, Man tries to, the, uh, tries to eat the uh, child that's full of explosives. And it explodes, and the Pale Man, because, cause like, I actually mentioned this in the bio, the Pale Man walks so slowly. Like, seriously, have you both seen Pan's Labyrinth? No. Uh, just, uh, it was a long while ago, but yes, it's subtitled in Dude, Spanish. That thing, like, it, first of all, it was not in the, in the least bit scary for me. Granted, I, I was... You know, not exactly a kid. Maybe if I was a kid, it would scare me. Not scary. It's sitting there. I think the girl would have deserved to get eaten because freaking the fairies are telling her not to eat the uh, stuff off the table. There's pictures of this damn thing eating children on the wall. She sees that thing sitting there, and then she's still stupid enough to pick up a grape and try to eat it. She would have deserved to get eaten, for one. But two... That thing's legs were so scrawny, it could barely hold itself up. And it's yep. walking there slow, like shambling, like like a zombie. And I'm sitting there thinking, all she has to do is walk to the other side of the table. And like it's going to take ten minutes to get to her anyways. And then she just walks to the other side of the table. She could eat everything on that table, and that pale man still wouldn't get her. <laughs> so, He's back to, oh, sorry. I, I know a lot of people like Pan's Labyrinth, but... Damn it, that was not scary. <laughs> okay. Is it wrong to root for her <laughs> getting eaten? I, I was going to say what he was based on. What's uh, he based on? Ba uh, a really, like, a, a, they say an obese, a breeze person who was just, like, tied down so his muscles atrophy, and then he got skinny again. That's what he's based on, his design, sort of. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, he's... Uh, Dr. Evil wins. <laughs> 
That's what I said, Sorry. too. Whee! I had to get that out. And the crowd loves it! <laughs> Sorry, he, his minions were clapping. <laughs> All righties. Moving on. We have Bucky, not Bucky O'Hare, but Bucky Barnes. Yay. And we actually, we should we should add Bucky O'Hare to the characters. Yeah. Anyways. And Mumra. Mumra, Mumra. Now, we're going to go pumpkin first this time. Mumra, you said? Yep, Mumra versus uh, Bucky. Uh, Mumra wins because he's a creature of magic, and he is also the ever-living, so even if you destroy him, he'll just come back. Um, but he can kill... He could kill Bucky pretty easy. He just shoots him with the energy blasts, or, you know, invades his dreams and make him go insane or something. I say Mumra wins. Comment. The ever-living wins! How how is that for a Mumra um, win? <laughs> I, I could imagine him with like a guitar. <laughs> that would rock, actually. Well, yeah, I can't really see a way. It would depend on if Captain America's shield can block magical energy, which probably it can't. It might, no, no, Captain America's shield can block just about everything. The problem is, is Bucky is not Captain America. Not the original. But he, he has is. a shield. Well, he, he has, has a shield. Sh- he has the original shield. It doesn't matter, Bucky um, is still no Captain America, in my view. It's made of vibranium. doesn't I matter. It's still the same weapon. Or still, well, used as a weapon. Used as a uh, shield. So it can still block stuff. Let me look at um, this. He can release EMP pulses, which isn't going to really help. He's got super strength and reaction speed. I gotta help him, but it's either um, against Mumra's black. But that's about it. Bucky's pretty awesome, but against Mumra, I don't think he has a chance. No. There's nothing really in his arsenal that can help. Hmm. Nope. It can enhance mystical energy, that's what it says. <laughs> Interesting. But then again, I still think I was eventually going to get him. Yeah, Mumra wins. Bucky, come back to the dead. All right, he's. I agree, Mumra wins. Maybe he freezes him. <laughs> and for the last ones in this particular round, Beetlejuice versus George St. Pierre. Ooh, Lord, that's a good one. And I think it's Pumpkin's turn this time? Mm-hmm. Or is it Comet's? Mm-hmm. Comet's. Oh, well, Pumpkin. Oh, Comet, go. Let's see. My favorite MMA fighter versus the Ghost. Hmm. That's a, that, that's a thought. That's a thought process. Hmm. <laughs> Now, as I was thinking at this day, uh, first of these two types of giants. Uh, George, I, I still think George St. Pierre wins just because he kicks ass. Sorry, I had to have my, uh, thought process music. And Jeopardy, right. the Jeopardy okay. thing's been overdone, so that's the reason I used that one. He Sorry. does not win. He, even though he is a very good fighter, he is a human. Thereby, if you punch, if you if a human tried to punch something that's incorporeal, like a ghost, it would go right through it. I would say that, like he, Beetlejuice just possesses his hand and makes him beat himself to death or something. Actually, that's a good idea because Beetlejuice has the power of possession. And telekinesis. That's the only way he can win. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. He, he in fact, I think that's use them. that's. That would probably be what happens, because George St. Pierre, like, if, if Beetlejuice made himself physical, George St. Pierre is going to beat the shit out of him. But uh, if Beetlejuice just possesses George St. Pierre and just makes him beat his own ass, then uh, 
yeah, that's probably what would happen. Do we all agree? Unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately. I like George St. Pierre, but against something mystical like Beetlejuice, not going to happen. Sorry. George St. Pierre joins the corpse pile. And now we've got our final three contenders. Which means one of them gets a free pass. Drum Will roll, it be? please! It's... Umra gets a free pass. You fucking made it. That means it's Dr. Evil versus Beetlejuice. Oh, Lord. Um, I think it's Pumpkin this time. Beetlejuice will kill Dr. Evil. Probably he turned into, um... Mr. Bigglesworth and like give him rabies or something or or possess Mr. Bigglesworth and kill him even better wow Comet <laughs> unfortunately I agree yeah I can't see a Dr. Evil beating a mystical being um uh. science versus magic magic's just much more uh, you can do more with it So, uh, yeah, I like that. He he turns into Mr. Bigglesworth, and uh, Dr. Evil goes to pick him up, and it turns into a giant monster-type thing that bites his head off or something. (laughs) Poor Dr. Evil, Dougie Evil. Oh, well. Which means the final on this character cast, tournament number eight, will be Beetlejuice versus Mumra. Both are mystical beings. Which one's more powerful? Let's go to Comet first. Yay, let's see. Mumrod the Ever-Living. Uh, let's see. P- one of my personal favorite villains of all time. If not one of the favorite villains next to the Joker. And I think he's absolutely phenomenally good. And I think Beetlejuice is going to get his little ass whip from here next week. Because his magic is actually very good. And it's actually potent enough to keep, you know, Beetlejuice you know, from doing anything too major because, you know, people just likes to annoy and scare people while Mumra wants to kill people. So, that's the reason why I vote Mumra is the ever-living. Ha! Alrighties. Pumpkin. I'd say Mumra would be like, uh, put him in, like, put Beetlejuice in a jar or something and say, you can come out when you do what I say or force him to do his bidding or something. <laughs> He'd win. Mumra would win. Yeah, um, Beetlejuice doesn't really have much of a chance here. We've got an evil sort of thing, whatever Mumra is. An alien or he used to be a priest. Yeah, and Beetlejuice is just sort of like, he's just a ghost. (laughs) Mumra could probably just, yeah, he could probably just control Beetlejuice. And be like, yeah, you're mine. <laughs> you're my new minion. Just like Alpha is the Galactus Herald, right? Yes. Beetlejuice becomes Mumra's new uh, servant. <laughs> and then he comes. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, straightforward. Mumra, far more powerful than Beetlejuice. I think Just his are pretty good. You know, I like Mumra. And we give him an official winning fanfare, too. What do you think of that? And that is it. He wins. He's the new uh, champion. He joins the ranks of, what, we've got Galactus. Bugs Bunny made it somehow. (laughs) Neo from the Matrix. Oh, that's just beautiful. All previous winners. And, yeah, Mumra is your new champion. What do you guys think? I think, uh, personally, that was not a big surprise. <laughs> no kidding. As powerful as he is, yeah. I think this calls for a deluxe. A deluxe? That thing in the 80s that McDonald's had? Ooh. The Arch Deluxe? Ooh. <laughs> I miss those. Uh, um, Arch Deluxe and Crystal Pepsi. Though, you know, <laughs> Crystal Pepsi. Oh, my God. Well, that's about it. 
that's the uh, that's your new champion, Momra. No big surprise, uh, considering the people he went up against. If you are currently listening to this, either on YouTube, on the stream, whatever, uh-huh. and you have characters you want to submit, send an email to Doug and Vicky at gmail dot com. That's D O U G A N D V I C K Y at gmail dot com. And uh, let me know who you want to see in future Character Cast tournaments. This is the final tournament to be done in this particular format. From now on, we will be doing it in a new format. And we'll be doing the big tournament once a month instead of trying to do it every week because, as we've seen from the last couple of weeks, it's a little difficult to uh, stay on time and uh, on schedule with that. So, uh, comment any uh parting words before we move on to uh, our new season, so to speak? Hmm. I could give you guys an outro if you like. Not yet. We'll, we'll, we'll have some final words first, yeah. some more uh, announcements, oh, and yeah, then we'll, we'll do the yeah, outro. This is, this is something I love doing. It's always great to do uh, the CCT. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's always a genuine pleasure because it's, you know, get a chance to, you know, speak your mind and, you know, and see your favorite characters, you know, kill the crap out of each other. It's really nice. <laughs> Pumpkin? Good fight, good night. <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, it's a it's a lot of fun to do. Um, it's good when we actually stay on uh, schedule, which, again, is mostly my fault <laughs> that we have not. Um, but yeah, the the new format... Hopefully we can stick to that, and it will be an improvement, I hope. A um, lot of fun. A lot of good stuff. Please visit the Slorg's World. That is theslorg.com. That will have the most uh, content. We're going to start doing minis, so character cast tournament minis, which is uh, one-on-one battles. So nice short videos, about two to three minutes long. We'll post those on YouTube. And uh, the big tournaments that we're doing now will be once a month, and those will be posted exclusively on the Slorg's World. You will not be finding those on YouTube anymore. So if you want to continue watching them, please visit the site. Uh, Give us your feedback. We'll be happy to have a look at it and uh, possibly make some changes depending on what people want. So, that's all I've got to say. Again, visit the Slorg's World. Uh, Keep your eye on YouTube, which is Lord Comet's channel. That's Comet with two Ts. Also, I will start posting some things on my own channel, which is the Slorg. Again, pretty simple, straightforward. And, uh, yeah, that's all i got to say. Comet, you can do your thing. And now, folks... Uh, I wish to thank uh, the Grandmaster uh, Slorg and Badmaster Pumpkin himself for joining us for this fantastic detail, and I will play an outro worthy uh, worthy of something cool. And now, as you see over here, we have our classic a- 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 ending and intro called The Spanish Flea. And that's all she wrote, folks. I hope you enjoyed this outro, courtesy of yours truly. Short, wasn't it? That was, and it was cool. Yeah. Well, I, I, right. I don't do long. I don't do long outros. That is it. We will see you next time yep. for the character cast tournament. Yeah. This is the Slorg, along with Lord, Lord Comet. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. Any, anyways, <laughs> along with Lord Comet, Bad Mister Pumpkin, we'll see you next time. Stick around. It will come along. And uh, just keep watching. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Night.